Hey everyone, this is Sue's Journal Adventures here with my Franken pages. <laughs> the Franken pages actually did turn into a monster. So, advice for anybody who's thinking of doing Franken pages. If you are thinking of doing Frank, right, so first of all, what is a Franken page? A Franken page, whoopsie, is bits of all sorts of your scraps stuck together to make a page. You don't need to stick them onto anything. You can just stick them to each other, okay? Franken pages are using a great way of using up your scraps. As you can see, I've got bits of all sorts on here. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of paper on there. Great for using up your scraps. If you are making pages, make sure that both sides look acceptable <laughs> because my franken pages turned into a bit of a nightmare because what i was going to do as a lot of you will know i've gutted this um it's a victorian photo album so i gutted it but when i gutted it i realized that the pages were concertinaed but obviously these pages had backs on them so these aren't the right backs by the way so as the pages were concertinaed you had decoration on both sides of the paper okay and as you turned each page it were decorated on both sides so i thought actually that's a unique and a really good idea of doing pages so when i did my franken pages I didn't really bother too much about what the back of them looked like because I was going to do this and when they're like this in the book that's stuck together that's one page so you don't see the nasty workings on the inside the problem for me was when I was making my Franken pages I was getting really giddy I was making them for ages and I had a big fat roll of them um, <laughs> I loved it I really enjoyed the process but what I think would have been better was if I kept my size, my pages to journal page size. If I'd have kept them to that size and just made pages that were all the same, when I came to concertina them, it wouldn't have been a problem. However, because I just frankened the pages and put bits here, bits there, bits everywhere, some pieces were long, some were short, some were long, some were short, because my thinking was, well, you have long and short pages in a journal. Doesn't matter. It does when you come to fold them. <laughs> so when I was trying to concertina them, which I would then have probably glued down the edges and glued them into the spine, I couldn't do that because I had long pages and short pages and they didn't always line up with each other. So if I had a long page and a short page together, then I had to cut some off the long page, but can you try cutting it when it's concertinaed? No, when you've got a big fat wedge of papers, can you cut it? Not very easily. And you can't also see the short pages in between. <laughs> so I gave up in the end and I thought, okay, it's not gonna be concertinaed. It's just gonna have to go back to being pages. But then I had all the yuck on the inside. So this was decorated that was pretty much plain. It might be back of a plain envelope. That's printed, so it were white on the other side. So I, oh, okay. So it's a bit of a waste of paper, but I have basically had to use two sheets of A4 paper, which is four sides, to get one page. So these are actually pages that are stuck together because I'd folded them down the middle and then I folded them in, folded the other side in, cut down the middle, that were two pages, because I'd not decorated the outside. So I might have been doing this side and just moving along, putting some more, moving along, adding some more. I wasn't looking at the back, so I've had to fold them in so that I've got a, a decent page, So she. I have excuse me, I have also got some um, ordinary pages in here. I've just been going through trying to work out what I might put in, where I might put it, what I'm going to do. I want to make some um, unusual little bits. I've been making some little things. I've got a bit of pocket, but I'm not right keen on that. I stenciled it, but I, I don't even know if you can see it. 
I stenciled it. Let's see if I can put this light on and if it makes no difference whatsoever. But it's like glittered um, stuff. Um, can't say I'm that impressed with that, to be honest. I've been stamping some um, vellum. That rose gold is quite pretty. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera either. So I've been stamping some vellum. I've been doing a bit of texture pasting. Um, just getting little bits ready. There's an awful lot of bits that are not ready. I've been backing some of my magazine images onto card. Yes, I did make a faux pas with the card. Because I'm thinking, oh, I've got all these cute little ATC cards and there can be tags and yeah. I've got printing on the back of them. Like an idiot, I should have stuck the picture on that side so it were plain white on that side. But, you know, I didn't check my paper. <laughs> so I've got printing on. On that one, it doesn't matter because that's, that's going to be a pocket on there, I think. So I've just been going through and looking and seeing kind of where I might want stuff. And I've put some pages that were like half magazine pages. I've stuck them together so there can be the smaller pages um so there's a few little there's a few little extra pages in here i don't know if stuff's going where i've put it i've just put things in just just roughly looking through it i've added a couple of printed papers i've got some full size magazine pages backed onto coffee dyed paper and what are you doing right over there looking at the mess for <laughs> can see you put us over there susan um so yeah, I'm just been kind of going through, making a few little flips that I might add in. Um, nothing major, nothing set in stone. I'm just basically trying to work it out in my head what I might want to do. I love the how the Franken pages have come out because when you do Franken pages, you're just sticking bits together. And I was rolling it up at one end and making it longer and rolling it up. I ended up with this big fat wad of paper. It was fantastic. I loved it. Um, but then when you're cutting them into pages, you obviously get different sections of that. Like this one here, it's got washi tape, it's got that, it's got that. Um, I put some more washi tape down the middle of that. That's tissue. That's a little bit of um, receipt. That's graph. You've got printed envelope. So you get all sorts of um, different little things. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, different little things on your pages. That kind of freaks me out that a bit that it's wonky. But hey, you know, it's a Franken page. Again, I've got printing on the back, but that's going to be a pocket, I think. Um, so yeah, I've just I'd added a few normal pages. The rest of these are double pages um because the backs weren't that great like i say but also i was making a lot of them into pockets so that's a pocket that's a pocket but you get bits of all sorts on your page which I, i'm quite liking because a lot of time when i'm journaling um let's say this one i might want a frame on there and then i think oh well i might have a i might have a pocket down in the corner then i get all bugged with myself about well it's just Play. it's stenciled a bit but it's just plain what else can you do i like to try i don't always achieve it but i like to try and make the pages look quite um full if you like and i'm not very good at sticking backgrounds in and stuff sometimes i do sometimes i don't so for me the franken page idea is fantastic because i don't have to worry about all that i just have to stick stuff on it and decorate stuff so that's brilliant i love that idea so i've got a few pages um that one's done and that one's got just a cluster in it so yeah i've just been going through and just putting things where i think i might want them um, working with the Franken pages, I put that in because that is just too beautiful not to put in. That was a freebie on one of my Facebook groups. It is absolutely beautiful. And as it's a botanical journal, I thought I would stick one in there. So, so yeah, I'm just kind of, and it's weird, even though I've put these pages together in no particular order whatsoever, or just tearing strips of paper and gluing them together, I do actually have favourites. It's really weird. Um, I quite like that one. That appeals to me a lot. I don't know why. I have put little S's on. Oh, actually, I need to remember to rub them out. I have put little S's on some of the pages because I was going to sew round them. 
the problem with that and i think they would look fantastic so i think it would really enhance them the problem with that is my sewing machine's thrown a wobbler and the the bobbin and the needle are out of sync so as your needle goes down your hook of your bobbin comes round and hooks through the loop of the cotton my my hook is kind of way back here when the needle's down and as the needle's going up the hook comes round and it's missing every time so i don't quite know how to get that back in sync i have been watching some youtube videos but yeah i don't fancy tackling that and i also don't want to pay loads of money for it repairing because the machine itself only cost me like 35 quid so i don't know what to do at the moment i'm hoping my son will have a look at it so yes, yeah, some of the pages I was intending to sew around, some I can't sew around because obviously they're a pocket at the top, quite a few of them are pockets, oh I can't find one right at this minute, there you go, there's a pocket, there's a pocket, um, so those I was just going to sew like that round because um, they are pockets that needs a tiddy bit of glue there so what I have been doing is going through because I stuck these together and I was just doing them on a roll I've been through making sure that every edge is stuck down there's no little sticky up bits of paper anywhere apart from that one that I just showed you all these they're all stuck down they're not curling up or anything so yeah that were a job and a half then I've inked them all um, and then my next step was to sew, but my machine just kind of went, uh, uh, you're not doing that, sorry. So what am I going to do today? I don't, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing now. So I've been thinking of ideas. I've been trying to get some ideas and inspiration for things that I can do. I've got some tags out. I've got some pockets. I've cut some things out of books. Why is that pocket down there? Was that what's going to be up on that page? I don't know. But I've cut out lots of magazine images um, because I want to use magazine and book images in this for tags and ATC cards and pockets and little booklets, which I haven't made yet. But just things like that. I am going to have, I need to back something on the back of them, so I need to just leave them over there because otherwise I'll stick them in a pocket and it'll, it'll have land registry on it, which we don't want. I've also been making some more leaves. Um, I was going to stamp some fabric. What happened to that? Oh, I was going to coffee dye it. It's here. It's all here, my little bits. I was going to stamp on them, but then I decided they need coffee dyeing and they're still sat there. So I've been making some little leaves like I did before. Oh, everything's going to fall off here at some point. I just know it. It's a big pile and it's kind of a little bit, you know, getting bigger. Um, oh, scary. Right, so what's that? Oh, it's a, an embossed um, moth. Yeah, I've got some tags ready, which can be, ba they're just bases. Um, what was I going to show you? <laughs> I was going to show you the leaf. Where's the leaf gone? Oh, everything disappears, everything. Uh, if I was organised, you know, I'd have had it ready to show you, but I'm not and I haven't. So there we go. Is that my leaf? No, that's not my leaf. I don't actually know where my leaf is. But anyway... I made a leaf on camera with you guys and I used this um, crumpled brown tissue to stick over the top of it and dull it down and I creased it while I was sticking it and then I rubbed over it with ink pads with this one because it's an autumn leaf weird shape leaf but that's how it was in the book I've cut the picture out of the book but then I've highlighted it with um, brown ink rusty hinge and scattered straw and then I've just gone over it with my gra my gold paint you can't see in this light can you can you see it shimmering the light in this corner is so bad can you see the shimmer no probably not so I've made these leaves anyway no idea what I'm going to do with them <laughs> at the moment I might be putting some in in like an acetate pocket I don't know I don't know and I wish I could sew because I could have sewn around that, but my machine is out of bounds at the moment. And I gave my little tiny one away recently, so 
<laughs> so I can't even sew anything and I don't know what I'm doing. So I've got some little pads ready. Um, I had these cut from, I don't know, something. Um, I've got some pieces of fabric that I think, not that one, that are kind of botanical. Well, this one then. Um, I think I was going to use that across the top of there. So I don't know if I'm actually making out because I want to sew. I want to sew a lot of stuff, but I can't sew anything. Which is a real bummer because, oh, I found these as well. That somebody sent me in a rack years ago, embroidery. And it's a flower and it's a leaf. So I'm like, okay, botanical, botanical pockets. Um, yeah, I'm struggling a little bit with... <laughs> with um, because I so desperately wanted to sew a lot of this stuff. The tags, I mean, these tags are beautiful and you can ink them. You can't ink them as good because they're a glossy image. But I did think if I could sew around them, they'd look fantastic. But unless I can get my machine sorted out pretty quickly, um, that's not going to happen. So I came on here to make, um, to make something. <laughs> Instead of all this chatting, I did actually want to make something. Um, I was going to make, what was I going to make? A tag. Oh yeah, and I need to sort of work out how I'm going to incorporate some of these frames as well. I'm going to put some of these frames in, seeing as it was a vintage um, photo album. I maybe might have to stick them on a page individually. I could cut the middle out and have a hole, which I could put some acetate in up something yeah anyway i will suss that one out later so yeah if you're doing the franken pages make sure you do two sides <laughs> i just want a piece of card i can't my desk's in chaos again as always and when is it not when is it not in chaos whoopsie just nearly have tissue paper and card oh that's cool card all over the floor then keep finding bits and i'm like oh yeah that's cool oh yeah use that Oh, that's cool. No idea what the heck I'm doing with any of it. But I would quite like to make um, a tag. Look at what I've got out. The thinnest, floppiest piece of coffee dyed card that's already got holes in it. I'll, embr I'll embrace the holes, actually. Yeah, let's embrace the holes. Why not? So I'm starting just to make some ephemera. I want to make some ephemera. And I want it to be quite, um, how can I say, bits of all sorts. Mm, just a minute, I'm thinking. This is off the cuff, guys. It's more of a chat with me, I guess, because a, a craft and chat. Because I don't actually know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> and you're all sat there going, Sue, that's how you normally work anyway. <laughs> It kind of is. Um, I'm sort of thinking I want to embrace them holes. I do actually like them. Um, but is this long enough? Well, it's going to have to be a very short thing, isn't it? I would kind of like to make not just a tag, but a pocket. I don't think this is long enough. Anyway, should we just get rid of this flap here for stars? We'll just chop that off for a minute. Um, let me see where, I see I haven't even folded that straight. I'm the only person in the world that can't fold. Well, I'm not. I do watch other crafters that say the same thing, actually. Can't fold straight. Right, I'm going to cut <laughs> at that lowest level, which means it's going to be quite a short tag. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Hey, strange things happen sometimes, don't they? <laughs> they do in my world. Have you noticed? Um, right, I like that. So this is going to be... I think it's going to be a ATC card with a tab with a pocket is what I'm thinking. But I think that's a bit, like, random. So let me just make it look more like a tab kind of thing says she hoping that she cuts it straight there we go oh now it looks like a tab oh i'm so pleased um yeah get pleased over the very slightest of little things 
Well, so much goes wrong. It's like, seriously, I can't believe it. My poor son. <laughs> My poor son. <sighs> He's the only guy on the planet. He takes after me. I feel so bad because you like, everything always goes wrong for me, Mum. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. You've got my gene, whatever that is. He's got, my son has two cars. Neither of them are MOT'd. He's just taxed one and it failed its MOT. So at the moment, it's two cars, but he can't use either of them. <laughs> I had to take him to work yesterday. He came home in a company car. I don't know how he's getting home tonight. It's just like, oh. Poor lad. It, it is like everything goes wrong, but he has had some things going right and he's sold some of his car parts. So he's quite happy about that. But his car that he wanted to buy, but he needs to sell his other one first, that's been sold. So yeah, he's a little bit fed up at the minute, but it's like, oh, can you believe it? I said, well, actually, I can. Because <laughs> that's the type of thing that happens to me. I start making a journal and yeah, everything goes wrong. I don't know, let's have a bit of that on there. That's leafy. It might need to be torn though, because I don't like the um I don't like the straightness of everything. If that makes any sense whatsoever. It will make sense to you, you crafters. I just prefer it to look a bit rough, you know? A bit not quite as pristine. I don't do them pristine journals. I love people who do and can do pristine journals, but me? Yeah, mine are never going to be pristine. <laughs> never, ever, ever. Sorry, that was a song. You're not supposed to sing on here. Um, <clears throat> right, so I'm thinking I like these holes. What can I do to highlight those holes? I could... Good. Come on. Let me move the 55 million tissues, the three pairs of glasses, the glue, the threads, the pots and everything else that's in the way and get these. Mm, is there not more of these? Come on, guys. I know you're in there. I know you're in there. Yeah, because I'd already coloured some of them. Oh, hey. Do, 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 do. See, I do prepare sometimes. Not really. Um, right, so this is brownie, so I'm going to have to go with brownie, I think. Would I like them a bit brownier? Because they're not much brownier than the paper, are they? Yeah, let's brown them a bit more. I feel like this is a waffle day. I might be waffling a bit, I'm sorry. And it's only because I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't prepared. I had prepared to talk about the Franken pages, but I haven't. I don't know what I'm doing, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm just working on the hop, making something on camera, because that is what I do. That's what I do. I just come on and make stuff. And I know there are other presenters that come on and just make stuff as well. Presenter, get me. Who do you think you are, Sue? <coughs> right, so let's get some inky, inky round here. Oh, do you know... Oh, I can't believe it. So I took myself out the other day. Um, I went to a little village, not too far away, but it's very quaint and I like it. And there's lots of shops and charity shops. So, you know, what us crafters are like. Oh, yeah, I got to tell the charity shops. I went in and I saw this pack of, what do you call them? I don't actually know what you call them. They're like furniture protectors. You know, little circles that you put on, bottom of your stools, legs, so they don't scratch your flooring, the little squares so you can put on the bottom of your sofa or your coffee tables. Yeah, I saw packs and packs and packs of them in one charity shop. There must have been about 12 packs of these things. And I'm picking them up and I'm looking at them and I'm thinking, hmm, how can I use them in a journal? Hmm could just use them as like little fabric swatches and I just I was so uninspired I didn't get any and then the very very next day the next morning I'm watching Natasha on treasure books and what did she make her sponge from yeah one of them furniture protectors she just came along with a actually it was a glue lid and she stuck one of them on it a furniture protector and was inking and I'm like 
I knew there were a reason I were looking at them furniture protectors, but I didn't buy them. I thought, can you believe that? I see that the day after, but I can't be bothered going all the way over there just to go back and get them because knowing my look, they probably won't be there when I get there. That's a little bit too long. Oh, do you know? Such a silly Susan. You sit there inking and then you measure. You're supposed to measure it first. Right, so, see, I can't believe that. So I'm talking to my friend on the phone today and she's like, oh, well, I'm going over there today. If I see them, do you want me to get a packet? What are they like? I said, the, the little round spongy things that bottom of your furniture, I said, and they're, they're like about the size of a 10 pence piece, maybe a bit bigger. She's like, oh, I'll have a look and see if I can find it. <laughs> Bless her. So, yeah, that's me to a T. Right, what am I doing with this thing? So, first of all, I need to ink it, don't I? Because it looks very boring. Boring. And I've put myself a new fluffer on. Because my old fluffer was literally dropping to bits and leaving little bits all over the desk. And all over my projects. And yeah, just bits of brown sponge everywhere, which was not good. This is inking a bit strange. I don't know if I like this one. Was the other one actually sponge? No, this is this is sponge. Oh, I don't know. It just seems to be inking different, and I'm not sure I like it. To be quite honest, I think this is sponge, and the other one wasn't sponge. <laughs> I don't know what it was though. Oh, I don't even make any sense half the time, do I? Well, I wanted to ink inside them, but <clears throat> I didn't think that's going to work very well. But I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind the muck and mess. I like it kind of aged and grunged. I like that. Right, that looks a bit better already. Okay, so I'm going to stick this on, which now doesn't really look like much of anything at all. Oh! <gasps> Oh, yeah, I'm going to make it a pocket, aren't I? Ah, that's going to take a very thin bit of glue along there then, because I want the pocket that way. Hmm. Okay, you got to get along there, okay. Not a problem. Well, it's not a problem if my glue's working all right today. It's been an absolute nightmare lately. Clogging up and not coming out and me having to use... <laughs> brute force you know just to get like a drip of glue are oh, we working today no we're not working it says i'm not working no you've been talking about me in a not nice way oh my days it's really not come on oh good grief you, you know it's like using them squeezy things you know them stress balls <laughs> Only this don't get rid of your stress, it causes you stress. <laughs> it's like, come out, glue. Oh. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. It gets rid of your stress. No, it doesn't. <laughs> right, okay. So you're going on there. I have no idea what this is going to turn out like. I don't know what I'm putting on it. I have no idea what I'm doing, to be quite frank with you. Don't mention frank and paper. Um... Right, oh, I've got paint brushes on my desk, I've got fabric, I've got oh, just so much stuff on here. Paste, glue, paint. <laughs> I've been having fun though, I have to say. I've been painting the front of my um, journal, whoopsie, Pre painting the front of my journal. This is too much glue, just spread it out so with your finger and worry about the rest later. Oh dear me. Right, because I'm just guessing that these are quite old and probably not very sticky. So I shall wipe the residue glue off after. But right now I just want to get these on here. Come down a little bit. Oh, these look cute. I like these. Um, actually, you could even have this as a little booklet. So all this is a bit of coffee dyed card that I'd punch some holes out of. <laughs> but you could have it as a little booklet that opens. And you could have some more on the inside. But it's going to be a pocket, so I don't need that. 
I just, um, there's a guy that, I don't know, I can't flip from one subject to another. Um, there's a guy online that I buy um, vintage stuff from. He gets loads of vintage stuff. I'd love to know where he gets it from. But um, I've just bought a whole stack. I think there's a hundred um, vintage envelopes from him. I don't need to do the inside. It's a pocket and it's getting stuck down. Um, yeah, I've just bought like some old vintage envelopes off him, so I can't wait for them to go. I think they're coming tomorrow. And oh yeah, this is my look. So yesterday I got my sewing machine out, ready to get all the S papers that were for to be sewn. And guess what? My machine didn't work. And then I got a delivery of my new. Oh, where is it? Where actually is that? <laughs> um. Seriously, how can you lose a 12 by 12 glass mat? Well, apparently you can, or I can. Um, yeah, I bought myself a 12 by 12 glass mat that came the other day and I stood it on here and I'm like, mm -hmm, got a glass mat, I can do paint and oxide inks and mess about and have a play. And guess what? Two of the legs fell off it. Little rubber legs and all that. Are you serious? It's just come through the door. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's my life. Oh, my possum, that's where he gets it from, isn't it? He's, <laughs> Mum, everything goes wrong <laughs> all the time. And I'm like, yeah, I know that one. I mean, sometimes things go right, you know. They go wonderfully right. I just expect things to go wrong a lot of the time because <laughs> that's usually the case. <laughs> but anyways, you can still smile through it, can't you? You just got to, you know, not let it get you down. So that's glued. That is now un pocket. Yes, it is. It's a pocket and it's not the most attractive. I don't like that. You see, that's probably one of them fuzzball glue bits of them thing. Glue. It's got nothing to do with glue. So um, it's probably one of them bits of fuzzy stuff off my other dauber. Um, turned it over because I'm terrible for, you know. Making them, well, it doesn't matter, it's going to get stuck down. So it's the record card. What's going on here though? Because this looks a bit blooming boring, doesn't it? That's cute. What's that? That's very cute. I do like that. Do you want to live there? Mm, I don't know. Um, what's in, no, not there. This drawer. This drawer houses. Oh, where's that new stuff? Hang on, where's the new stuff? I don't know. It's up here somewhere. Somewhere. Here. Is this it? Oh, and there's that. Oh, hang on. I'm just going to find something that's super cool in here, I think. Oopsie. Okay, just get them all out. So I don't really want to get them all out, but I wonder if one of them will fit in there. Maybe. Mm, not really. Um. Anyway, anyway, I'm looking for these. These are these are supposed to look like metal, and they do. I don't know if I've showed you these before. I'm sorry if I have. I'm very boring. Look, it's a hinge. <laughs> it's a hinge, guys, and it actually really looks like a hinge, doesn't it? How cool is that? Oh, I do like that. Um, and a lock. I've got a lock. I could put a lock on there. Why would you have a random lock there? I don't know. But yeah, they're to make, made to look like metal and they actually do. Oh, what's that? I don't know. How oh, cool. Okay, so what's going to go on here? Oh, look. A nib. <laughs> I really can't see myself putting a nib anywhere, but you never know. I like that. That's a cute little doody. Ooh, and I like that. That's also a cute little, do oh gosh, I don't know what to do now. Um, I love these hinges. There should be more of them in here. Fortunately, there's not. Is there only one? Oh, that's a bit tight. Oh, there's them rusty hinges. I don't like them as much. How do they even go? Oh, it's a bolt. 
Oh, that is so cute. Bolt. It's bolted. Yeah, my horse has bolted. I need to crack on and do what I'm doing. So I'm thinking, do I want something like that on there? Maybe not in black. I don't actually know what the heck I want on there. If I'm honest, you know, I don't know what I'm doing because I came on here not knowing what I was doing. And it shows. It shows. It shows. Oh, what's that? Sorry, delving about in my drawers now. I could have put a bit of that under there, couldn't I? That would have looked cool. Anyway, it's too late now. Um, okay, what have I got in here that could potentially go on here and look super amazing? That doesn't look super amazing. What's that? Oh, that's a little. Oh, my days. Help me, Lord. I don't know what to do. Oh, it's a botanical journal. We could have a leaf. We could have a... I like that leaf, actually. Um, oh, we could have a flower. I can't see. The cradle's right in the way. Does it look good? Because sometimes it looks good through the camera, but not so good there. That looks really nice, actually. I like that. Um, what about this leaf? Oh, that's botanical, isn't it? Um, what about that one? No, I don't like that one. I don't think... What are you doing there? You're not part of this crew. Um... Well, that's definitely not, is it? What, what even is that? I, was it that one? I like that one. I like that one, but I like that one. Is it that one? Is it that one? Is it that one? Is it that one? Or is it this one? <laughs> it's got a leaf in background. Why do you want a leaf? Oh, look at this one. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I like that. Oh, no, but I really like this one. Oh, just do that one because that goes more with the colour scheme. Get your bits out of the way so and just crack on <laughs> before you drive everybody insane and they just switch off in sheer frustration of this waffling woman who comes on here not knowing what the heck she's doing and just talks a load of cronk because she doesn't know what she's doing. Cronk? What's cronk? Where? Um. I quite like these. Have I got a really little one of these? No, they're all kind of big, aren't they? Oh, I mean, you've got the little bits out of the middle. But even they're t too big. Oh, it's, it's slightly big, but anyway. Never mind. We'll do without something on... I might put something on there, though. I might not at this rate. So, I've, so far, guys, I've made a pocket... A pocket, a pocket, a file folder in 37 minutes. Wow, that's a record. Slowest ever pocket ever made, ever. I can't see a thing. <laughs> can I get in the light? Give me some light and I can see where my glue's going. And it's daytime and I'm in the living room and the curtains are open, but I might as well be sat in the dark depths of a dungeon in this corner because I can't see anything, literally. Right, okay. I like you, little plant. I know you're on a leafy background, but I think you're cool. I could, probably, I could have inked it, but... I really like these stickers they're bringing out lately that look very 3D. I've got these other blue ones and they're so amazing. They're so amazing that I'm kind of just hoarding them. I don't actually want to use them. Right, where do they go? I don't know. Do they go in with labels? Or do I just put them back where they came from? Just put them back. Oh, don't put your pin in there, Sue. Sorry, I'll just shove these away. I don't mean to waste your time tidying up, but whoop, <laughs> if I don't put them away, I'll end up losing some. Because, you know, this is me we're talking about. Actually, what is that noise? I don't know, something outside. Hmm. Mm. I kind of like it. No, I don't. I don't want it. Right, so this is me um, 
making a pocket so far, which has been the most interesting thing you've seen this week. <laughs> and I kind of need something to go in it. Have I got a little doof? I've got a little card there, look. Yeah, that's not bad. So your card could go up there, so it kind of shows a little bit through the holes. And you can still see your tab, because otherwise there's no point in having a tab, is there? I don't even know. I don't know what I'm making. So it could have some, I think I'm feeling, oh, where's that thing I just found? That. I'm feeling some really random shaped coffee dyed paper in there just to write in, you know? Just maybe put that in there. I might and I might make some of it. But anyway, that's it for now because it's 40 minutes and I've not even done all, guys. <laughs> I've made the simplest little thing that like a five-year-old could make because I've waffled. I'm sorry, I've waffled. Just call me Waffle Dog. There is actually a programme on UK TV called Waffle Dog. I'm sorry. I don't really know why I'm picking this apart on camera whilst not talking to you. Because I don't actually even know why I'm doing that. I just might use it on something in a minute anyway thank you for watching this really exciting video um i'll be back soon because i'm going to be decorating that thingy over there um i'm hoping that i can get my machine fixed in the next few days because i really really do want to sew some of the pages and i really really do want to sew some of the tags so hopefully i can get i mean that'll look nice sewn won't it before i stuck it down mm. I really want to sew things. You know, when you just get the urge to sew. Oh, look what I found. A bit of brown lace. That's cute. Should we do it? Should we do it? Oh, why not, eh? Why not? A piece of lace is sat there on your desk. Use it for something. Oh, my goodness. The glue. The glue. Glue is incredibly annoying. Sorry, I'm talking a bit quiet because I'm quite aware that I'm very near the microphone at the moment. <laughs> I'm near the phone because it's I've pulled it right down so as you can see this exciting thing that I'm doing. Oops. Put it over to edge. That might be a good idea. Scissors. Not the best scissors to cut lace with, but, you know. Ye who never makes things easy for myself. Right, let's get this stuck down before it glue dries. There you go. You see, if I'd have gone off camera, you wouldn't have seen this excitement. You wouldn't have been there to witness the sheer excitement of me sticking a bit of lace on it. <laughs> But you're all thinking, yeah, I wish you'd have gone 10 minutes ago. <laughs> right. Thank you very much for watching. Love to you all. See you soon. Bye.